So you can see our cars back there. What's up? Tim and I are here at Colt Creek. I'm gonna do a little overnight camping, woodcraft, bushcraft trip. Whatever terminology you prefer. Look at, look at this beard. Look at this thing. It's a street thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey guys, so we're out here doing an overnight trip and I thought I would show you what I have in my pack for uh, an overnight uh, woodcraft, bushcraft, you know, just camping trip really. Uh, first thing is, this little guy, this is one of my favorite things, it's just a uh, inflatable lantern, so it's awesome, uh, it weighs like next to nothing, I, it's solar powered, I just strapped on the end of my pack and uh, it's good to go, it's pretty fun. Uh, the next big thing is obviously this. This is my uh, hammock and tarp setup. I have a Jacks or Better bridge hammock with um, an Equinox, I think, eight by 10 tarp and a bunch of paracord all in there. Paracord's my ridge line for the tarp. So that's my shelter. Um, obviously, can't have a good bushcraft, woodcraft trip without uh, an ax. It's my Snow and Neely Hudson Bay ax. Goes everywhere with me. Um, the knife I've been using is Scandi Grind. It's a uh, Topps uh, Burkimo. As you can see, I've been using it a lot. You can see that. But it's starting to get a patina. Um, whenever it gets a little rust on it, I don't actually clean the rust off. I just uh, baton more wood, just use it a lot more. And, um, so Tim's like right over there, like staring at me, like watching me do this, which is weird. You can set up if you want. Okay. Um, bungee cords I don't really use for anything, just to strap the hammock. Um, but I mean, I guess you never know. Um, in the small pouch, a um, bunch of just big bundles of extra paracord to, um, you know, if you gotta tie something, that's what you use paracord for. Right? Correct. Right. Hang in a bear bag. Hang in a bear bag. Uh, my possible pouch, I just use a big Ziploc bag um, instead of something fancy. And here's just a uh, toilet paper, toothbrush, toothpaste, an extra handkerchief, my Swiss Army knife, and my giant ferro rod. Um, so all this stuff will probably end up getting used. It gets used pretty much in every trip. And uh, yeah, that's what I keep in there. That's it for that pouch. What do I have over here? These are the poles for my hammock. So it's a bridge hammock. So this makes it the bridge part. Um, most of the time I just make my own tent stakes. But um, just for ease of thing, I mean, just brought some this time because they were sitting in front of me. And I thought, why not make my pack heavier? Let's bring everything, right? Okay. It was a short hike in, like a mile, I think. Didn't take us long at all. Um, obviously, you can't go out in the woods without a filtration system, something to collect water in. So that's just saw your mini. Bug spray, Paramount in Florida. And um, instead of bringing a, a big uh, buck saw, I just brought my uh, Baco Laplander this time. So we're not building shelters or anything. We're just gonna process minimal amount of firewood. Cause it's pretty hot out here. We don't need a lot. Now to the main body of the pack. My pack is um, an LL Bean uh, 
Continental Pack, it's a canvas one. So pretty heavy, not something I would want to take on long hikes, but short like this, it's cool and it's durable. Brought some Gatorade. This is going to be uh, my cup later after I drink this. I'll probably go by quick. Um, this is also a beverage that I will wait till later tonight to drink. Now it's what, uh, like 85 out? Maybe? Uh, actually a little higher than that, I think. Is it? Yeah, hotter than that? It's, it's hot out. I mean, you know, with a mile hike, him and I got really sweaty, so, but I prepared for that. I brought one of those insulated cups, and all this is is filled with ice, so that will help me cool down later. I got uh, overheated on a trip uh, not so long ago, and ended up getting super sick, so I'm like, not doing that again. Um, this is my cook kit, all that good stuff, got a little spoon there. Um, inside is just a little pot, it's one of those uh, Stanley pots, um, real cheap, stainless, so it's cool. Um, inside here is my little stove I've been using as a twig stove, you know, it folds up. And inside here is my fire kit, it's all convenient, all in one location. Good to go with that. Now, here's my dry sack with my food. It's an overnight trip, so I didn't eat a lot. So some dehydrated uh, beans and rice, M&Ms, that kind of stuff. What else do I have? My pillow, not in a stuff sack. I don't go camping at all, ever, without this thing. It, um, I love this thing, by the way. It folds up to like nothing, but blows up to something awesome. Pillow. My sleeping bag, because it's hot, I still bring one, because I'm a kid, I need a blankie is a 55 degree north face bag, it's an Aiyushin. Pretty light, it's just, uh, just because. What else I have? I got a grill top, which we probably won't need tonight, but um, this thing is awesome. I like it. What else? Oh, the last thing in my pack. I mean, you can't have any kind of adventure without a schmog, right? So even though I have a handkerchief, I brought this thing as well. And in here is an uh, insulated water bladder uh, that's three liters, also filled with ice um, to help cool down later. I figured instead of packing in water, I uh, may as well pack in ice. But um, we're going to be getting water out here anyway, but you can't have too much. And that's it for the contents of the pack. So I guess I need to go set everything up. I don't think Tim's going to do it for me. You're not going to set myself up, right? Yeah, yeah, he's not set my stuff up. Um, oh, in my small thing, what do I have? A lens for my phone. Small sharpening stone, should I need it. And of course, headlamp. I got, I don't keep the batteries in this thing, I keep them in here. Because it always turns on and I get to camp and batteries are dead. It happens to me a lot. Learn my lesson though. Pack. Stuff. So this is my hammock over here. Like I guess that's Bear Mountain Bridge. That's why it looks all square. But once I get in it, it sinks down and the tarp is fine. I used palm bushes for my tent stakes. That's what those are. It's a paracord to stake it out. So people can't say it's not bushcraft because we're crafting with bushes. Tim's just got like the pro hammock set up. All good. So you notice his is real high. That's for more airflow because it's hot here. So he still has a uh, rain protection. So he's got a bug net. I have a bug net in mine also. So we should be covered. And that's what it looks like where we're at. Now one thing we don't usually have a whole lot of here um, in Florida is dead standing trees. Um, you know, when they die and they start getting a little weak, you know, because of the storms we have, um, they usually just blow right over, and I mean, they rot real quick. Um, but we have a lot of wildfires this season, so if you can see behind me, there's actually a ton of dead standing trees. So that's what uh, Tim and I are going to try to uh, get and harvest and process down 
have a little bit of a campfire. I mean, it's hot, and it's gonna be hot later tonight. Um, so we're not gonna have like a huge bonfire type thing, but you know, just enough, hang out, cook some food. You can see Tim coming down the trail, this amazingly well-groomed trail that we have. You can see behind me. I mean, I've been here before, shot video. Um, so now the only thing is picking out a tree. Let's go see what Tim found. So here's a real good example of what I was talking about. As you can see, I've already hacked into it. But it's a tree, it looks dry, looks good, looks dead. But when you hack into it, even just a little bit, it's no good. I mean, it, it crumbles, it looks wet, it's uh, this no good. But we have a contender right here. You can see Tim's checking it out. So it's a palm tree. It's a good size. That's a palm tree. It's, it's a pine tree. Yep. Oh, palm. Tim's got jokes. So hey, don't push it down on me. But it looks like you could just push it over. Yeah, it does. I think that top's gonna come off. All right, I need to hack at it a couple times. Maybe. Hey, the top came off. Top's gonna come off. Yeah, top came off. Look at that. No axe required. See, the bottom's ate off my termite. It. That's all right. That's not bad at all. All right, we're gonna get that one.
and termites. Tim says it's protein. Put them in your soup. Put them in your soup. I should be snacking on them. So the rain's not letting up. So I think Tim and I are going to cook some food under our tarps. So he has a tiny little stove and uh, so do I. So I'm just going to do that for right now. Um, so if the video's shaking and crappy, it's because I'm holding everything instead of using my tripod because my tripod is supporting part of my tarp. So let me set everything up and uh, then I'll show you what I've got. So everything is so wet that uh, the shavings just kind of like smolder and then go out like they don't even burn. And that was from, you know, the dead standing trees that we processed, um, you know, should be dry on the inside and, and, you know, they're just not. So pulling out the big guns from my uh, fire kit, a piece of fat wood. So um, normally, you know, you just kind of scrape it off and, you know, you get a little flame. I might actually do like solid shavings off this just to give me more of a burn, almost like one of those chemical tablets that some people use or like cotton balls with Vaseline. I'm gonna see if I can uh, use this. This is pretty solid so I don't know how it's gonna work. But he is eating already. I'll give him that. I'm over here playing, experimenting. So, But that is one of the things I do when I come out. I, I'm always trying something new um, just to see how it works. So I learn, you know, for the future, which is weird because when the future comes and I try something else new. So I don't really know when all this practice is really going to benefit, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to start working on this, this little guy. See all that resin? Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right, here's what I have. So I got water. Some of it's rainwater, some of it's not. All the stove. Twigs, shaving, kind of feather sticks, but really sloppy, so they don't kind of really, don't really count. And my fail rod knife that I normally wouldn't leave sitting on the wet ground, but for the sake of the video. See, Tim's already going to town over there. Yeah. Alright, so let's see if we can get this going. Alright, so we finally got the fire going. I had to use a bunch of fat wood to get that going because all that wood is wet and apparently green. Let's see how we're doing. We're doing pretty good. Oh my god, that smells so good. So that is black beans and rice that I dehydrated myself. All it really has to do is rehydrate, so it's going to be good to go. Super hot. So, Tim kept offering me a cotton balls of Vaseline, but I kept turning them down. And um, But it took me forever to get this. It's been like a half hour, you think? Easily, yeah. Yeah, easy, easily a half hour. 
Um, the the stuff we used, I mean, you can kind of tell it looks, it just looks really fresh. But um, I didn't think it was because it was dead standing wood. I mean, you saw us cut the tree down or push it down or whatever. So, um, yeah. So what I should have done earlier was grab some of that grass or maybe something like a palm bush to, uh, you know, just have extra dry stuff. But I figured since I had all this processed wood, I would be fine. Turns out I was not. Dude, I don't know, it looks pretty good. You can wear boots when you're on naked and afraid. No. Well, it stopped raining. I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. And uh, I just don't have a uh, battery charged. So I haven't been, uh, you know, starting this whole thing. Anyway, we walked out to this pond and that was cool. Kind of hung out for a little bit. I don't know, that's really about it. I haven't done anything exciting. Um, yeah, we're both, it's starting to get dark. So we're both heading back to our hammocks. Just kind of lay down. And uh, talk from the safety of our bug nets. That's sort of the plan. But uh, yeah, so no campfire tonight. Just um, I mean, it's hot. So, but it's been good so far. Alright, I guess uh, check back in in the morning if I still have power on my phone. Alright.